Okay, let's take a look at another question here. Multiple blood transfusions can cause toxic effects on which electrolyte? Good job. A lot of times people pick potassium because of the wording of the question. Because of the wording of the question. Did anybody think potassium because of the wording of the question? No. Toxic? See, that term gets people confused. When you think toxic, don't you think high? High. But what it's asking here is it's asking, when it asks about multiple blood transfusions and electrolytes, first thing you got to think of is calcium. Here's the concept. When we give blood to patients, the blood that comes up from the blood bank has citrate. Okay, so down in the blood bank there, they can't heparinize it because some people are allergic to heparin, and we got heparin-induced thrombocytopenia and things like that, so we can't heparinize it, but what we can do is we can put citrate in that blood. Citrate binds calcium. Calcium is necessary for coagulation. So that blood that comes up from the blood bank contains citrate. And that citrate, there's enough left over that when you give multiple transfusions, it can bind up the calcium in the body and cause a low calcium level. So when do we need to worry? Four units of blood products in a 24-hour period, we need to think about calcium. Think about it. Well, this morning the calcium was low. We gave four units in a 24-hour period. I think we better recheck it. This morning calcium was okay. We gave 40 units of blood products. Maybe we'll recheck calcium tomorrow. See, we're thinking about it. We don't necessarily do anything about it, but we're thinking about it. Ten units of blood products in a 24-hour period, we're going to prophylactically give calcium. We don't even check the level. We just give calcium. So this patient's on your floor, got 10 units of blood products. You know, a patient that's on your floor, what kind of patients on your floor would get 10 units of blood products in a 24-hour period? GI bleed. Trauma patients. How about some orthopedic surgeries? Yeah. Okay, some of those get a lot of blood. Okay. So those are the kind of patients who could be in this situation. Check to see when that patient comes up. You know, either ask in, when you get report or check to see when they come up and see if they got calcium while they were in the OR or in the PACU. Okay, so we can try and avoid this situation. Because otherwise what can happen is you end up with a low calcium level and then the patient gets life-threatening complications from a low calcium level like laryngeal spasms and seizures. So that's why it's really important we check. 10 units, 24-hour period, prophylactically give calcium. So now the patient's up on your floor, did not get calcium. We need to give this patient calcium. What kind of calcium do you give? Calcium gluconate. Calcium gluconate restores our calcium levels in the bloodstream. Calcium chloride is for immediate use. Calcium chloride you give during a code, right? Immediate use. Goes right to the heart cells. We use it or lose it. Calcium gluconate is the one that's going to stick around a little bit longer, help us to replenish our levels.